All right, what's up guys? We're here in Buckingham at the cabin and uh, we're about to put on a dove shoot. So two weeks ago we came up here, cut all of the uh, Milo millet and sunflower that was in the fields and it has definitely attracted some birds. We got about eight birds sitting in that tree right there in the field. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna send, I got Tad up here with me, got kegs and uh, we're gonna be, they're gonna head down to the creek bottom back behind the cabin here. And I'm going to wait until they get in position. They're going to kind of loop around and get set up. And then I'm going to walk up on these, try to jump them so they get some action. And then we're just going to post up and get some decoys out and see if we can get some of these birds that are buzzing around here. Stick around. We should have a uh, good day here. Opening day, state of Virginia. All right, so uh, we're getting ready to get this show started. Let's go over the checklist of what you need to do. This is very minimal. You need a couple boxes of number seven uh, bird shot. Uh, about seven dollars a box not expensive at all get yourself a few dove decoys and get yourself a dove mojo They're only like 30 bucks and they are phenomenal um, and you need a backpack carry your stuff out in and uh, the most important thing comfy chair make sure you get yourself a comfy chair and because uh, you're gonna be sitting all day and find yourself a shady spot and post up and figure out where the birds want to be all right, guys, here we go. All right, so this is how easy dove hunting is. Put out a couple decoys. I like to use these screw-in uh, bow holders for clipping them to. We got our mojo out here. And we're just gonna sit tucked in a shadow. That's key, you wanna be in a shadow because you don't stand out. You see, I got my seat here. We're gonna get nice and comfy, see if we can't shoot some of these dove. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'll be honest with you. Three shots, three misses. <laughs> these guys are cruising with this breeze today. But um, definitely got some birds flying. Uh, it's impossible to turn on the uh, tactic cam in time to get a shot. So it's gonna be very limited on how many tactic cam shots we get today. But. There's our spread. Just waiting on for some more birds to show up. All right, so one thing to remember is uh, always check the choke in your gun. So these first three I've shot at, that last one, I mean, I saw tail feathers fly off of it and it was just barely on the tail end of it, but I checked my choke and then I had the full choke in, which means it's shooting super tight. I'm like shooting golf balls at these things at 30 yards so i switched it out to the improved cylinder that's usually what you want to use as a nice spread like an improved cylinder for this kind of hunt um always take the time to check a choke i just didn't even think about it we were goose hunting yesterday so i had a full choke in but uh should do a lot better now <laughs> should make things a lot easier All right, guys, dove number one. There you go. There you have it. He actually got stuck in the V of that tree up there when he fell right in the end of them branches. So I had to shoot him a second time, just knock him out of the tree. So I hope he's not too beat up. But there it is, man. That's what we want. We want about 14 more of those a person. All right, so I'm going to put this out there right now. Uh, yes, I love shooting dove in the sky, and I'd much rather shoot him on the fly. But I can guarantee you, one shot out of a tree tastes just as good as one shot out of the sky. Keep that in mind. Bird down. All right, we're up to three dove now, man. Just like that. Uh, it started flying pretty good for a minute there. Got real cloudy and a little wind and Birds seem to start moving, but. Bird down. All right, so one of the hardest things about dove hunting is finding these birds. This is all poison ivy in case you're wondering. He dropped right through these trees when I shot him. Got him. There he is. Hi, yo. Number five. 
See if we can get back out of here without catching poison ivy. All right, so uh, here's a little quick tip for you. If you don't know this already, I'm sitting under a uh, big dead tree here, if you can't see that up there. These birds will fly past all these live trees to land in the one dead tree, so like over there. They want to land at the top of this dead tree right there, and they keep wanting to plop up there. They like to be able to see their surroundings, and uh, here comes one right now, two of them. All right, so I got five of them right now. And uh, one thing you want to remember out here is uh, it's still September, it's hot. You do not want to leave these birds just laying at your feet all day. So either bring a bucket to sit on with some ice in it, a little cooler, something like that, or uh, make sure you take the walk back every once in a while to put these birds in some, some cool conditions. Last thing you want to do is shoot a bunch of wildlife and have it go bad on you and just do it all in vain. So make sure you take time to keep them cool. Booyah! Close range. That was a good one. Let me tell you, this has been an epic day so far. Um, we got doves flying everywhere. They're diving in on this fresh cut Milo millet field that I planted. And I bush hogged it two weeks ago. Must have attracted birds from a long ways away because there's a lot of birds out here today. We are just having a blast. Man, this is what September dove season is all about. Getting out here with your friends. When you're hunting in the super thick stuff like this, you really want to watch your bird go down. If you shoot a bird, don't worry about shooting a second one. Just look for something where that bird went down and walk straight to it and don't take your eyes off of it because if you don't have a dog these birds are extremely hard to find in this tall broom straw and briars and stuff i mean a lot of times you'll see feathers stuck to briars before you ever find the bird so so this right here is what's bringing in all the dove the field that we cut already had a bunch of this in it millet milo and sunflowers and sorghum and you can see them shooting up all over the place. I left this one tall on purpose just to give the quail somewhere to go. Try to keep some tall stuff around here to keep the coyotes off of them. But <laughs> really bad these little guys are still moving. All right, guys, I need uh, need a little commentary here. So, uh, Keegan, tell me about opening day at uh, Little Seaford here. I mean, the ammu ammunition manufacturers are very happy with us because <laughs> the shooting was not that good to start out with. <laughs> but as you can see, we finished strong. Yeah, we definitely finished strong. Uh, we'll do a count here in a minute. Uh, we know we're not over because we've, we've each counted our limit. So there you go. Uh, Tad, what's your thoughts? This is your first big dove hunt? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what do you think? That was a lot of fun and that's a lot of good meat. Yeah, man. So Tad has uh, alpha gal. So he, he uh, got bit by a tick and uh, he can't eat red meat that's from mammals, but this right here is like gold for Mr. Tad, cause uh, absolutely, you're gonna be eating good. We, uh, I'm, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm stoked. For uh, anybody that says you can't shoot a lot of dove on a small piece of property, they're lying to you. You just have to put the work in. Uh, you saw that we got Milo millet and uh, sorghum, all kinds of stuff growing out here. I planted it early. Had to spray a couple times, but uh, well worth the work. You got to put in the work if you want to have success. So, and here's your proof. I mean, you can't deny that. That is a shootout right there. Opening day, Virginia dove season.